we are in autonomous mode. In the new free autonomous shuttle for Detroit residents with disabilities or over the age of 62. So Alex, you're not touching the accelerator or the brake. No, sir. Scary. But this pilot program starting next Thursday will include 68 stops over an 11 square mile area in the southeast part of the city. Our vehicles are actually really good at figuring out when someone is going to run a red light or a traffic light because we can detect their acceleration or lack of acceleration at a long range. And the impact of this type of transportation would actually eliminate parking structures in the future. Right now we're seeing office buildings converted to housing. 20 years from now, you're gonna see parking structures converted to housing. And there seems to be a lot of philosophical future business discussion going on in this vehicle. From this, so yeah. economically we boom as well because you're, of the assets, the connection transfer. You're going to see two things happen. You're going to have you're going to have fewer cab drivers and Uber drivers. But you're right. You're going to see increased economic activity. It's going to be a major change. When people see me behind the wheel, you don't have to head for cover, and you don't have to freak out. Yes, Justice Bernstein is blind, but he's not going to be behind the wheel. Under current law, these autonomous vehicles still need a driver for emergencies. You cannot have a healthy body without a healthy mouth. So true from the executive director of the Delta Dental Foundation that funded part of the $2.4 million grant. And they have over 2,000 patients that qualified to use this vehicle, so we're very excited. You're going to need some more vehicles, aren't you? We might need a whole fleet to take people to the dentist, yes. Currently, there are three vehicles. Two are wheelchair accessible, but more could be in the future. In the back of a driverless car with a mayor the city council person and the head of this technology, Charlie Langton, Fox 2 News.